Shalom family. This is a documentary that I watched on, um, I watched lately on Malcolm X. Who killed Malcolm X? I'm just going to do a commentary here and, and let you know how they infiltrate, how they send in agents, how this thing is real, how people don't believe infiltration is real. So the main focus on this is to see how our people and how groups have been infiltrated and how they use their informants and their informants feeds them. Their informants put us against one another. So this documentary, of course, it was a very good documentary. Yes, I recommend to watch it. Um, it was long. It's a lot of. It was a lot of research that went into this, and the man did an ex absolutely excellent job. So, who killed Malcolm X? Number one, um, of course, he showed the released what what they call declassified FBI files, and a lot of those files he went into. You see here. FBI primary targets. Who are the primary targets? Black nationalist hate groups. Nation of Islam. So we know anytime black people form something, whether it's, you know, bringing us together, us, our people, come together, uh, stop fighting. Let's come in a, together in agreements. They don't like this. Even if we see things are not right. Wait a second, something ain't right. When we come together as a group, we're going to meet this place at this time. All of us going to meet. And you only have 50 people that come to the building to meet. They ready to infiltrate it. They're going to label these people as black nationalists. They're going to label them as some kind of hate group. And this is what they do. Look at this. Another report here in their files could possibly widen the rift between Muhammad and Little which is Malcolm X of course this is what they do family they come in they put you against me using their informants this is why the father told me and he should he doesn't want any of us on here arguing this is his name that is his name that's a riff People come to the channel looking for arguments concerning his name. We're beyond that. You're getting blocked. You're getting ignored. We're beyond that. Your code's trouble here. Your food will be gone. Your water will be gone. You will have weapons being pointed at you. You will see people dying. And you want to talk about the name? You still in the land of your captivity? So... We don't do this, but they come in with the riff and try to put people against one another. This is their ammo. Another file here. Uh, this is what this is what's in their files. And they know we're not going to look this stuff up. We're trying to live. We don't have time to look all this stuff up. We're trying, we got to work. We got to feed our families. We got to take care of our kids. We got to run our kids all over the place. Make sure we're doing all the things we're supposed to do. We ain't digging into no FBI files. That takes extra work we ain't getting paid for. Do something about Malcolm X. Enough. Enough of this black violence. When, did Ma when Malcolm X converted to Islam, when did he do any violence? I'm sorry. When did he commit violence? When? And of course, Malcolm X was most definitely ahead of his time. He was ahead of his time. And he was saying things they couldn't, they didn't want the people to say. They didn't want the people motivated. I'm going to show you that. It's in their, their files. They did not want these people to get motivated and come together and reason with one another. In Shalom, this is the worst thing that they want to see to happen. Um, 
another FBI file. You see the date here, September 19, 1963. Are we doing anything to curb the activities of black Muslim leader Malcolm X? He was on the hit list. Aren't his ideas somewhat on a parallel with those of Adolf Hitler? No. Absolutely no. Are you serious? They making up stuff. This is this is what in their own definition family, this is what you call a conspiracy theory. This is a theory. They're not facts. Malcolm was dealing with facts as best he could. And he was one that was for righteousness and what was right and that was the problem. Isn't Malcolm X in the categories of traitors to our country? Wait a minute. Who traded who? Who sold who put who in slavery? So when you don't agree with the slave, the slavery in us killing you, killing innocent people, us killing your innocent church, when you're not agreeing with that, you're a traitor. You supposed to, you know what Isaiah said, you supposed to lay down and let us walk all over you. We're the head and you're the tail. You supposed to stay down. So when Malcolm lift his head up and say, wait a minute, with enough of police brutality, enough is enough. When are we going to stand up and, and when are we going to, watch this, defend ourselves. This is what they don't want to hear. He believe in self-defense. When you believe in self-defense to them, that's war. When you hadn't attacked anyone, it's about self-defense. If we do something to them, they got the right to defend. Oh, he had a cell phone. He reached in his pocket. I thought he was reaching for a gun. So I pull out my gun and unload every bullet I had. It's called self-defense. It's self-defense for them. Traitors to our country in that what he is advocating is black supremacy? He never advocated black supremacy. He wanted to be separate. He wanted his own land with his own people. That wasn't black supremacy, but this is all they saw. It's the same as plotting to overthrow our government. Malcolm X did not plot to overthrow the government. He knew he was a brilliant man. He knew that that was impossible. How can you overthrow this government? They have militaries with an S on it. And the military now is bigger. They got a space. They actually have a space. You know, they in the water. They on the land. Army. Navy. They in the air. Air Force. They have all of these. And now they have space. How are you going to overthrow this? The most high must overthrow this. Other countries, other nations will overthrow this. Not, not brown people in America. They the last people to overthrow it because they got them people on lockdown. Overthrow the government? Why isn't this hateful man stopped now before it's too late? So what? Too late for what? What they were really afraid of? Too late for the black people putting all their differences aside of coming together and coming up with a plan, even if the plan is, come out of her, my people. When we start talking about, come out of her, my people, they're going to be like, no, 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 we don't want, we, we don't want you to leave. This is the best country in the world. He wasn't hateful. He spoke against hate. This is what he was. His speeches are on YouTube. Listen, he spoke against hate. When you committing crimes against an innocent man, when you're killing innocent people, when you're doing all these th hateful things, you don't do this to innocent people. Look at this. FBI report. Members may resort to acts of violence. May. Conspiracy theory. They weren't going to resort to acts of violence. The begin oh, see, this hurts them. The beginning of a true black revolution. This was their fear. The beginning, they saw the beginning of a true. See, what we have now in the Hebrew Israelite, that ain't true. That's false. Why? They already took that down. 
we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see it. They already took that down. Prevent the rise of a Messiah. They're trying to say pre prevent the rise of a Mashiach, a leader, one that could lead the people and motivate them. Look at this. Who could unify and electrify the militant black nationalist movement? Don't get these people stirred up and to want them to protect themselves. No, they're supposed to lay down and take it. <clears throat> of course, everywhere Malcolm went, um, he, he he put it out very clearly. He was followed by the FBI. This is him when he went to Egypt. And it's almost as if he, he, he was in an area where he was so close to the truth. He was all over it. If only he had the Torah. If only he knew the prophets. He had the right mind. Wanted to do right. Want righteousness. This is my, that was Malcolm's mindset. Not to murder, not to commit crimes. That was his former life. So he left America, came to Egypt, and here goes the FBI report of his flight. The cost, 1,000, they kept up. See, when we do stuff, when we came out, the FBI, there's a foul with the FBI cost of all of our travels. Don't think they don't have this. They got the cost. They know who you are. They know where you at. And the cost, the cost, 1380 Paid in cash. The ticket, New York to Frankfurt to Cairo. See, Malcolm was on to something. That's within the borders. That's according to scripture. He knew something. All right. But when Malcolm got suspended on February 4th, 1984, two months after his suspension, they sent this FBI agent and another agent. They visit him at his home in Queens, New York. See, family, Malcolm was not an informant, but he was a possible. He, they tried to get him to become an informant. He was a possible informant. And they came to him. What did Malcolm do? He secretly recorded the meeting. This this video was on YouTube for you to hear. Of course, it they, they you can hear it on the documentary. He secretly recorded. He knew what they were doing. Malcolm not he was too smart for this. Malcolm was like, I'm not gonna allow you to use me against my own people, even though they kicked me out. This is how they work, family. This is in this is this is in their FBI files. This is what they do. They carefully select informants, planting the seeds of dissension through anonymous letters and or telephone calls. They use they go out and pick select people, make them informants. All the camps have a number of informants depending on the size of the camp. Every last one of them. In their informants, there's placed inside these camps and they run the camp and they start at the top what was mentioned uh the nation of islam um muhammad elijah muhammad some of his top people and no doubt probably him he himself it wasn't the focus of the documentary but it was brought out there were many informants within that group and they're at the top and the bottom. Okay, here is the picture before in the ballroom. Uh, before Malcolm, just this was right before he was murdered. I didn't know they had footage of this. But in the, the, in the documentary, they showed, lot, they showed the footage. I never saw that on YouTube. And even when Malcolm began to say, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. This is when he was about, he was saying, hold it, hold it. Because the, mur the, the murderer is about to stand up. And they made a commotion. Get your hands out of my pocket. And he was saying, hold it, hold it, hold it. Right before he pulled, right before they pulled out the weapons. And of course, Malcolm knew he would address these audiences as friends and enemies. 
He knew 